Our preaching text today is from the third chapter of the Acts of Apostles. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer, at three in the afternoon. Now a man who was lame from birth was being carried to the temple called Beautiful, where he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple courts. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Peter looked straight at them, looked straight at him, as did John. Then Peter said, look at us. So the man gave them his attention, expecting to get something from them. Then Peter said, silver or gold I do not have, but what I do have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Nazareth, walk. Taking him by the right hand, he helped him up, and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the same man who used to sit begging at the temple gate called Beautiful, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Shine bright, shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus. 
Uh, yeah. <coughs> mm. Uh, my throat's really dry. Do you have any water? I don't have anything on me. Hmm, that doesn't surprise me. It's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about. Why aren't you doing anything anymore? Why am I not doing anything? Yeah, I don't see you doing anything anymore. For example, Moses and the Israelites. They're in the desert, they need food, and you give them manna. Only enough for one day. Yes, you met their needs daily. But why don't you do that today? I'm asking for water because my throat is dry. <clears> throat> and where is it? No, you don't have any. Why can't you make it rain? At least. I am. Hey, Joe, guess what? You'll never guess what just happened to me. I was at the vending machine getting water, and when I put my money in, two came out. Can you believe that? Wow, that's cool. Well, it's not the blessing, I know. But you know what? I don't really need two. Do you want one? Really? Well, um, okay. Enjoy. <laughs> Oh man, that was awesome. How often does someone just walk by with two bottles of water and give one away? I know, that is rude. Oh right, how rude of me. Where are my manners? Hey cat, thanks for the water. How lucky is that? Two for one. I think you're misunderstanding me. So, where were we? Um, yeah. Why aren't you doing anything? I'm doing things all the time. If that's true, and show me something amazing. Amazing? Yes, something amazing. Like Moses and Israelites again. They were down by the Red Sea, thinking they were going to die. And what does Moses do? He slams his staff into the water. The water goes up, and they run on through, happy as can be. When can something like that happen to me? You mean like parting water? Not exactly, although that would be sweet. Um, but like I'm driving on the highway and traffic is backed up for a year. Why can't I just slam on my horn, the cars part, and I just speed on through? <laughs> that would be really nice. Yeah, so when can I see that? I don't know. Well, keep your eyes open. Amazing things are happening. Hey, are you reading, girl? You dropped your wallet. Oh, my wallet. Thank you so much. No problem. So, where were we? Oh, yeah. Why aren't you doing anything anymore? Um, excuse me? I was going through my wallet, and I noticed something fishy. Hey, I'm not a thief. Oh, I know. No problem, really. I know. It's just, um, um I like to reward honesty. Um, I have so much in here. My license, my credit cards, and my whole life is in here, basically. And you were just so honest. You dropped your wallet, I picked it up, I gave it back to you. Droppy, picky, givey, no takey. <laughs> here, I want you to have this. Thanks for being so honest. Whoa, this is a $20 bill. Do you need change or something? All I did was counteract gravity. No, I know. I just like to reward honesty. It's so rare these days. Oh, thanks. You can drop your wallet by me any day. <laughs> Jesus, can you believe it? A $20 bill just for bending at the waist. I really needed this. Now I can take my girl out to a nice dinner at Taco Bell. <laughs> Extra guacamole. Yeah, that is pretty amazing. Yes, completely amazing. So, why aren't you doing anything? Are you kidding me? No, you're just standing here. 
why don't you go and get to work and show me something big? Big. No, no, no. Not big. Big. Really. Big. Drew, oh man, you're never going to guess what just happened to me. What? Oh, yeah, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thanks. Yeah, 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 whatever. Well, you've always wanted to see Donnie and Marie on ice, right? Yeah, they're so perfect together. And add ice on top of it, amazing. Yeah, I know. Well, I have tickets, and you can have them if you want them. You're so rude. Why? You know I can't afford those tickets. No, 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 no. You can have them for free. What? Really? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Wait, why aren't you going? Well, you know that water from before? Well, when I opened it, I looked under the cap, and it was one of those instant wind caps. See? I want a trip to go around the world with you, too. Can you believe it? Wait, so you're telling me that you want a trip to go around the world with you, too, from a free bottle of water? Why couldn't you give me that bottle? I don't know. I honestly didn't even know there was a contest going on. I almost threw it away without even looking at it. Well, I gotta go claim my prize and make travel plans. I'll see you later, Drew. Donnie and Marie on ice? Really, Jesus? Who cares? I thought you would. You're like Donnie's biggest fan. Yes, but don't change the subject here. I said I wanted to see something big, right? Yeah. Hello? Around the world with you two? What's wrong with you? That's Why couldn't that happen to me? That's just what's the cap. Obviously. Jesus, what is your problem? How can you expect to see me in this big thing when you can't see me in the little thing? At some point in our lives, most of us have prayed for a miracle. Whether it's big or small, we ask God. In the skit, Drew asks Jesus to show him a miracle. And Jesus does, but Drew is not open to seeing it. He wants to see something big. A sea parting, a crippled beggar walk, the dead risen kind of thing. Jesus feels Drew's need of being thirsty, yet Drew sees it as being lucky. His friend was walking past and gave him a free water, and they were able to share it. He is honest and does the right thing in returning the wallet and without stealing any money, and he is rewarded. He wants something exciting to happen in his life and is gifted tickets to Donnie and Marie, the show he loves. Yet he doesn't yet he doesn't receive the hospitality of others as a sign of Jesus' presence in his life. He looks at what he doesn't have and what someone else wins as being better than what was given to him. He often, often do we look past the coincidences and the small miracles that are happening in our daily lives and do not see the kingdom of God all around us. Like Drew, we can forget to see God in the small stuff because we are too busy at looking at what is happening around us. We are called to be the light of others share the love of God and the gifts he has given us. 